Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import OpenStreetMap data into QGIS using the Quick OSM plugin. We'll start looking at the rendered OpenStreetMap data from the Quick Map Services plugin that we have also used in other exercises. There it is. And the biggest difference with Google is that all these elements that we see here on the online map are also available as points, lines and polygons that we can download to QGIS. So let me zoom back to the catchment boundary. And the most important thing is if we build a catchment map is that we also have our hydrography. Now we can download a plugin to download the Quick OSM plugin. Quick OSM is a plugin that uses the Overpass API to download OpenStreetMap data. We can find it in the menu, in the vector menu, there we have Quick OSM, and it uses keys and values. If you want to know what the keys and values are, and that's how the data in OpenStreetMap is structured, we go to help with key value, and here we find all the definitions they use including example pictures and the style on the map. So let's start with adding the rivers. They are with the key waterway and for value we will choose river. And we are only interested in the extent of our catchment. So I use here the rural catchment boundary as the search area and under advanced we always keep node way and relation checked but we are only interested in the river as lines so I only check the box for lines and then I run the query and it will now fetch the data from the overpass server and when it's done we can find the rivers here on the map I'll change the colors a bit so you can more clearly see them. Simple blue line and there it is. We can uh, even label it with the names and we can do other analysis with it. Uh, if we want to use it we can save it as a shape file. So export, click right, export, save features as and uh, we can build a geo package uh, with all this data or we can use it as individual shapefiles. So let's save in this case to a shapefile. Make a new folder. Open data. And I save this one as rivers. And we change the projection to the one of the project. There it is. Okay. Now it's a shape file, but it is too large, it covers more, so we're going to clip it. So here under vector, I go to Geoprocessing Tools Clip, and here I choose as an input layer the rivers, as a clip layer the root catchment, and then I save it to a file. Rivers Ruhr. Save. And I run it in the background. And now it's clipped. I can remove this one. I can copy the style of this one. And then I can remove this one too. And then we see we only have the rivers in the Ruhr catchment, so I can give this another name, rename layer, Ruhr rivers. In the same way I can add the lakes, vector, quick OSM. And the lakes are on a natural, and then the value 
water. And the lakes are polygons, so we only check the polygons. And then we run the query. There it is. Also here we are only interested in the lakes that are within the catchment boundary of the rural catchment. In this case we are first going to select the areas that are in the catchment boundary. We can do that under vector using the research tools and then select by location. We select features from natural water and we choose the ones that are really within the rural catchment boundary. We can see that these layers have different projections, but uh, QGIS 3 can take care of that. So when I run it, it's quite quick. Click close. And I see now in yellow highlighted all the lakes that are within the catchment boundary. So what I can do now is click right export, save selected features as lakes rural shape and we change the projection to UTM, we save only the selected features. There we are. Let's remove this one. And let's change the style. And now we have the lakes and the rivers from OpenStreetMap. What would also be nice to have is where the dams are located. So let's use again the quick OSM. And let's choose here waterway dam. Again in the rural catchment who's advanced. In this case it will just be a line. Let me run the query. And there we have the dams. Let's uh, style them first. Simple black line. A bit thicker. It's a bit too thick, but there, there they are. So in this way we have the lakes and the dams and the waterways. Also here we can clip it to only the catchment. We go to the vector menu, choose geoprocessing tools, clip, and we choose the dam and the root catchment, give it an output name. Let's call it dam's roar. QGS takes care of the different projection and we run it. And there it is. Copy the style from the original. And paste it to the new one. Remove the original. And change the name of the new one. And this is our result map. So in this video I've demonstrated how to use the Quick OSM plugin to download the vectors from OpenStreetMap into your catchment map in QGIS. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get automatic updates. For more free GIS tutorials, you can have a look at gisopencourseware.org.